ridiculous. Anyway, uh, this is just we gotta go over the uh, Turkish land forces uh, equipment. As you can see there, uh, there they are on the left hand side. Sorry for all that quality, I've got locked those in it's currently uh, 017 in the morning, past midnight. It's about what, 12, 17, something like that. Anyway, uh, as you can see from this, they are the op four or opposing force. Righty. <sighs> Welcome to the Inge, lad. Thank you. Okay, so this way we to the Right that way, I'm doing it. Here we go. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> this is a 762 wicked from Bibli, a clear out magazine, 762 bar 51. Anyway, so this is your uh, MPT-76, just for iron sides up to 500 meters. Looks cool. Anyway, it's iron sides, obviously do help. Uh, you're sticking your weapon. Oh yeah, so you got tresses and a... Uh, Uh, next up is the Ingram 19 11 pistol. Pretty, pretty bad, honestly. It's <laughs> not the G3 bayonet. So the drone based stuff, I guess you don't get to be placeholders until they can actually uh, bake some stuff specifically for the. Let's go to the next weapon. Oh, you've also got your M18 smokes, bandage, and you know, basic stuff. Next up is the Gimitic. Six same weapon, but what was the weapon? Ooh. I tried it earlier on. Uh, Created. Well, Ugh. Uh, just a limited gear, two grenades. So I'm guessing, uh, it's gonna be the spotted weapons you want to get one grenade for. Because I can see that this is this is a bit of my personal favorite. This is what I like. Um, as you can clearly see. So this is the basically the exact same weapon as usual, but you've got like an Alcan sight on it. So we don't know what's cool about that. Showing you, and this is my new favorite weapon. Again, apart from some bullet stuff, I don't know if I'm about. this is pretty cool. As usual, yep, as I expected, you got one grenade. Ah. Uh, like, say, 
you just lose the magazine. For sure. Oh, mate. But, yeah. You can see. This is a pretty good weapon. Uh, next up is the SMGs. Two magazines, you see, are uh, TNT. This would be perfect for close quarters. Yeah, they still get the pistol. Uh, those two white smoke grenades. Bit of basic stuff. They're not grenades, obviously, but that's pretty cool. Medic, uh, basically get the same stuff as the squad leader's got the whip system and the uh, different roles like crewman. The different they seem to have. Uh, the difference between crewmen just seems like they have uh, what's the name? The shovels. Everything looks the same uh, apart from your uh, lead pilot. Your pilot's can go smoke. And that's about it. So your infantry rolls. Uh, everything looks about the same. Apart from this one here, the MG3. I always hate to be charging this. I mean, its accuracy doesn't look as bad. I take that back. <laughs> I want to be charging this position. Although, oh, if one thing that I'm going to notice with this is going to be the ammo. Like how fast the ammo gets eaten up. Like if you're on an ambush, you're going to rip. So, it be interesting to see, especially with the new suppression mechanic, although I'm guessing it's going to be fine first, so we'll know what plan get this base onto a whole new meeting. Uh, I think one grenade, two smokes, basic stuff. I've got the G3 bandit. And next up is your grenadier. You can see there a grenadier on them, I'd be like the salter. So this would be your like salter uh, one SMG. You can see The uh, you know, principle that you live in, but I find them. We all know I don't see that. Uh, they get two grenades, just like basically that's it. Uh, so what was that roll? That was uh, a good. Okay, uh, they also have an unarmed roll. You've got two grenadiers. One of them is this one here, which basically a lot of people will probably go for, just because of a sight of it. So it's a decent fixed sight, uh, which is one thing I like, although this grenade launcher might need resighting, but pretty sure those targets are what? 125? I want to uh, recite it. Unless I aim really low. Come on. 
for the notification. Apparently my mate is streaming. Anyway, so they just got two grenades, uh, two smokes. This it. This is a decent one that actually looks pretty cool. This person they get the iron sights. Not the word here. Uh But we also get a rotary, a rotary grenade launcher, which takes a while to load. You can see, but got range up to 400 meters. But for this, we only need 150. Where's that 100? I would hate to be defending a trench or something, or even attacking, and the enemy has this, and you just see one guy just peek out, and just... Dogs take down to cover, just... Yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty scary. You always got your smoke, you got smoke removed. For your, uh, I got two spokes. I know you got two different uh, things. Spoke, sorry. Two pallets. Would be cool if I could put more smoke there. Like instead of having to shoot one, you can actually put them more down to, at a certain time. Probably a lot easier. You can also. White spokes. You got edges times two with your field uh, banners and trench tool. Next up is your different AT classes. The first AT class, uh, they only so one thing you will see as well is they don't have any hats, which is weird. Uh, but they do have a lot of lats. That's obviously where the um, it's coming from. Probably, I'm uh, pretty sure Mars uses the same tactic. I like the He's using uh, a white machine that they just use a bunch of RPGs. That's just good off memory. Anyway, so you can see you've got two uh, rounds, and you've got two frag rotation rounds. Which is the uh, Russian dog troop. Uh, they grid a DF with an RPG. So you have like a uh, U. Oh shit, I think it's a U. I forgot something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's your first one. Next one um, is looks like a rifleman, just with a uh, M72 law, and they also have a uh, what's the name grenade on them for the up close and personal work. Oh, good. Next up is the. Uh, class with a decent sight, the Alcan. A uh, difference, actually, no, there is no difference. Very different looks to be ammo capacity. Uh, to a class that carry about 8 magazines. Very you got like, human. But to be fair, for every accuracy, it's worth it. Uh, next is the, uh, K N T seventy six. That's uh, pretty cool. It's a uh, oh, what the hell? What the? What the hell? Give me a sec. Ah, uh, that is so weird. 
Yo, yeah, well, you've got your secondary blood here, you basic uh, loadout. And a G3 bayonet. Sucks. Uh, next up is your machine gunner, which just looks to be like an FN mag. To be completely honest. Yeah, it looks like a retextured. Uh, retextured M24 there, but you do have a nice little So this, that is pretty cool. Uh, your sight's a bit off when you're shooting, but to be fair, you know, as expected. So, you can find shoot this, find your target. That's why machine guns have air expression. Anyways, uh, I've got Jeffrey Bayonet, pistol, bad basic loadout. Next up is your um, engineer. Pretty basic kit by the looks, C4, charges, fuse, and a rifle. So if we go here, let's see, so our squad leader has 8, about 160 rounds of ammunition, 2 pistol mags there, don't really worry about that, 20 rounds each. Next up is obviously your lead crewman, key for the rounds, so it's 60 rounds of ammunition, same, 8, you will be thick, with EOTech. Gets 8, so it's about 160 rounds of ammunition. There are two medics, eh? There are, but it's highly from me. Oh, right, that all needs to happen. Oh, look, a bunny. Anyway, so your squad leader with a Eurotech, oh sorry, Alcan, uh, gets basically, what, 7, so it's 140, sorry, 140 rounds, uh, I'm guessing, and your uh, people get, but yeah, you know, the large, 160, it's alright. Uh, Medics, same here. Uh, Ruffman, yep, they got the same. Machine gunners get six bounce, 120 rounds. Uh, they just want to really annoy me. Uh, but to me, it's about five, six, so what, six, seven hundred and twenty rounds? Uh, I'm not even going to count that. I'm too lazy. Uh, nine times three, nine, nine. 18, okay, then you got about 270 rounds of ammunition. Looks alright. I'm gonna do some rounds, pretty basic. Uh, pretty basic again. Pretty basic here, uh, sniper. You know, again, pretty, pretty basic. Machine gunner. 35 round belts, it's alright, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Uh, but then you do have the vehicles. Let's go and check over that now. I barely use vehicles. Uh, because he's weird and annoying. Give it a little bit. This is a bit like a 50 cal and a like a mixed up Bradley. Yes. Okay.
Ich habe das Thema sehr schön. Das ist wirklich cool. Okay, du hörst ihn 240. Swick launches. Alright. Uh, up. Okay. It is basically a retextured, apparently. I'm going to be over to some of the Turkish ever, pretty much. Retextured American stuff that looks 25mm Mark 19. I think the Americans have the Mark 19. Yep. Oh, here we are. Let's see if it wraps may have replaced it with these record vehicle looking things. This is a 50 calibre. Oh, hold on. This one has an MG3. This one tow. Oh. M113 freeze with a 50 cal. And another M113. Oh, MC, whatever. This is basically an M113. Uh, with a MG3. Transfer vehicles are the red 50 vehicles, so you've got a 50 cal, two 50s, uh, one MG. Oh, what that is? Two MG freeze and a machine gun. You've got MG. Uh, you've also got your right here, your G3, uh, plus two transport trucks. This looks like your LG, your troop. Okay, this is pretty cool though. You've actually got troops in a covered position, which uh, it's pretty annoyed. Uh, oh, sorry. It's pretty useful as well, especially you know if you're in the, sort of the dead man's area. Oh, these look like bloody uni box. Yeah, yeah, like the if they do abuse like a. So yeah. But anyway, uh, that's basically it. Apart from the vehicles. Uh, after red. This is why I need to talk to my editor a lot more. Here we are. Probably, ah, uh, can't go oh, here. Oh, I'll just go work. Thank you, buddy. Ah, I'll be good. Here's one of these uh, record vehicles up because I'm guessing they're going to be uh, like more headed run tactics, which would be pretty cool. Oh, that one has a crow on it, looks.
Bridges were 